Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an unsubscribe link to the top of an active campaign email. I had somebody request this and figured I'd shoot a quick video showing how to do this. And I'm also going to show you a couple other cool things because once you know how to do this, you can create custom footers and do some other cool stuff that you might not know exists. So, anyway, the easiest way to do it is just to add a text block you know, at the very top of your email, and we can change the font and all that stuff later. But what we want to do now is personalize. And then you'll notice that there's all these personalizations in here. Now, you might not have known this or not, but you can add, you know, name, contact information, basically. So geographic location, all that type of stuff. And then we get into the message stuff. And this is where like an unsubscribe link is. There's also web copy, uh, send to a friend, uh, unsubscribe link or subscription, update subscription account link. So there's several other like personalized links you can add in here. So anyway, we'll go ahead and add the unsubscribe link. So you click here and then you can just fill out whatever you want it to say on Un unsubscribe. Okay. And so just like that, we've added an unsubscribe link to the top of our email and then you can go ahead and, you know, customize it however you want to, you know, same same options as normal, change the padding, all that stuff. So that's that's how easy it is to add an unsubscribe link to the very top of an email. Now, in terms of like a custom footer, you can do that as well. Uh, to do it, you just add a text block. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. And in order for a te in order to have a custom footer, what you need to do is have an unsubscribe link, which we do at the top of our email. And you also need to have your address, your business address. So let's go ahead and throw that in there real quick. So personalize, and we see message, and then we have list sender info multiple lines or list sender info single line. So either one of those options will work. I'm just going to do single line. And it looks like that right there. And you noticed, hopefully you saw that, my footer disappeared. So that default footer that Active Campaign puts in there automatically disappeared because I have this uh, personalization tag in here as well as an unsubscribe link. So now I could go ahead and essentially customize this to my little heart's content. So if I want to add a line break here and we have sender info and we'll go ahead and center that real quick. And then I could go ahead and say something like, message and let's say we want to add a web copy in here web copy okay and then we could go ahead and make a nifty little space in there another personalization tag and we'll go with message and we'll go with um update account update update account okay and then we can add one more and we'll just have our subscribe link down here as well up oh. Let's go with personalize and message and unsubscribe link, unsubscribe. Okay. And so there we go. We have our custom footer now. And as you can tell, there's several other things in here with like account options and social options and other things that you can go ahead and add in here to customize your emails even more. But yeah, that's how you do it. Very simple to add an unsubscribe link to the top of an email or add any sort of personalization tag to the top or footer of an email. And that's also how to create a custom footer in Active Campaign. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.